Hi guys, Barnaby for Spurred On. This is my post-match review after we just drew two all with Leicester in the FA Cup. Strange feeling. Uh, I feel like I've said this after other games. Uh, strange feeling. Obviously, we're still in the Cup. It's important. We equalised in the last minute through a Harry Kane penalty and we're still in the Cup. However, as a lot of the fans have talked about in their fan cams, you know, we did get, have a lot of possession today. We did boss the game. But in terms of Premier League games uh, or when you're playing against Premier League teams in the FA Cup today, Possession isn't enough. I think Manchester United are a perfect example of this. Their fans hate watching them at the moment because they have all the possession. It's side to side, it's side to side, but they don't make any chances. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that we're like Manchester United. We play far more balls in between the lines. We got Danny Rose in time after time after time today. If the final ball was a bit better, it would have been good. So we do make chances, but the question is, in cup games like this, against Premier League teams who want it, even if you're both playing reserve teams, it's not just as simple as having possession. You've got to take your chances. You've got to put the game to bed. This has happened a lot with Spurs this season. We've, come, we've gone 1-0 up and we haven't put the game to bed. We conceded a sloppy goal. The first goal, let's be honest, it was sloppy. It was a very simple corner, front post. All the viral was the marker. And I, I, I've seen the footage on the BBC and they didn't pick this up. It was kind of bad luck as well as sloppiness. All the viral didn't quite get to his marker, uh, didn't quite get to his man. Uh, but it was actually Nasser Chadley who blocked him off in the, in the last minute. That won't happen all the time. Um, anyway, more importantly, like I said, we're still in the cup and there were some good performances out there today. I thought Kevin Vimmer looked good. I like how he looks. He, it looks to me like he's learning off Alderweireld and Vertong and playing with them in training every day. He's a similar build to Alderweireld. Uh, he doesn't look slow on the ball and he's a good passer. He played a couple of lovely crossfield balls, uh, which I was really impressed with. Eric Dyer uh, once again played well. I was surprised when he came off, but it was good to see Bentaleb get a run. A lot of talking is about the fact that Hung Min Son played up front today. I thought he played well. He ran the channels really, really well, which is vital for any striker. That gives the centre-backs and the full-backs the opportunity to play channel balls when they're put under pressure. Uh, anyway, like I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted by technical difficulties, uh, I thought Hung Min Son did fine. I don't think he's a bad striker. I just don't think he's a natural, natural striker. Do we need another striker in January? Yes, we do. But do I think we'll pay over the odds for someone? No, I don't. And I don't think they'll buy anyone unless it's just right. Anyway, the overall feeling for me is two all... Nobody wants a replay, of course not, but we're still in the cup. Harry Kane got a goal he hadn't scored for a few games, so that'll be good. The big one is Wednesday night. Leicester again at home, but they'll have their big guns out. Don't be surprised if Vardy plays. Mares, of course, will play, and they'll do exactly the same. They'll sit back on their 18-yard line, 11 men behind the ball, try and hit us on the break with pace. We've got to be clever. We've got to be patient. We've got to wait for our chances and put our chances away. If we go 1-0 up, we've got to get a second. If we do that... We'll put them to bed. I've said it a few times to Spurs games recently. If we keep a clean sheet, we'll win that game 1 or 2 nil. Guys, let us know what you thought of my match uh, review in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter at SpurredOnTV. Come on, you Spurs.